Hi, it's me again, Tammy. Welcome back. We're going to start off with lesson number 24. It could be worse. The manager was sympathetic. Let's look at the picture and see if we can figure out what's going on. It looks like this man is thinking of 50 pounds and he's sitting in front of another man who's sitting on a safe behind a desk. What do you think it could be? Let's see. Let's read about it. And then we're going to answer this question. Had the writer's money been stolen? I entered the hotel manager's office and sat down. I had just lost 50 pounds and felt very upset. If I had lost 50 pounds, I think I'd be very upset too. I left the money in my room, I said, and it's not there now. The manager was sympathetic, but he could do nothing. Everyone's losing money these days, he said. He started to complain about this wicked world, but was interrupted by a knock at the door. A girl came in and put an envelope on his desk. It contained 50 pounds. I found this outside this gentleman's room, she said. Well, I said to the manager, there is still some honesty in this world. So, let's answer the question. Had the writer's money been stolen? Well, here it says, I found this outside this gentleman's room. So, the money had not been stolen. It had been lost. Let's go over some new words and expressions. Manager. A manager is the person who's responsible for controlling an organization or a company. Upset means to be angry about something. Sympathetic means to feel sympathy for someone or something. Feelings of pity or sorrow for some, someone. So to feel sorrow or sadness for someone. Complain is to show our dissatisfaction about something. Something we're not satisfied with, we're going to complain about. Wicked is to be immoral or bad. Contain is to hold something or someone. An envelope contained the 50 pounds. The envelope held the 50 pounds. And honesty means the quality of being honest, not to lie or to do dishonest things, but to be honest about something, to tell the truth. Notes on the text. Everyone's losing money these days. Let's answer some questions about what we've just read. Number one says, how much money had you just lost? I had just lost 50 pounds. I had just lost 50 pounds. Number two, how did you feel? I felt very upset. I did not feel happy about it. <clears throat> very upset. <clears throat> Did you tell the manager about it or not? Did you complain about it? Yes, I did tell the manager about it. I complained to the manager. I told the manager about it. 
Could he, meaning the manager, do anything or not? The manager was sympathetic, but he could do nothing. He could do nothing about it. Number five, what did he begin complaining about? He started to complain about this wicked world. He started to complain about this wicked world. Where had she, excuse me, number six, who came in with the money just then? A girl came in and put the envelope on his desk. A girl came in just then. Where had she found it? I found this outside this gentleman's room. She, she found it outside his room. Is there still some honesty in this world or not? There is still some honesty in this world. Special difficulties. Exercise A. Choose the correct words in the following sentences. Number one, I took, received a letter from him yesterday. I received a letter from him yesterday. I met Harry in the, on the way to the station. I met Harry on the way to the station. Number three, in the, on the way from Athens to London, the plane stopped at Rome. On the way from Athens to London, the plane stopped at Rome. Everybody believe or believes he will win. Everybody believes he will win. Number five. Is your watch made of, from gold? Is your watch made of gold or is your watch made from gold? Is your watch made from gold? Is your watch made of gold? You can actually say both words here. Is your watch, is your watch made of gold? Or you can say, is your watch made from gold? They both are correct. Number six, at the end of the month, I received my salary or wages. At the end of the month, I received my salary. Number seven, can you borrow, lend me five pounds? Can you lend me five pounds? Number eight, I asked, asked for an explanation. I asked for an explanation. Number nine, except apart from that, everything is all right. Apart from that, everything is all right. Number 10, he is such an irritable or he is such a nervous person. He is always bad tempered. He is such an irritable person. He is always bad tempered. Number 11, the police is looking for him. The police are looking for him. The police are looking for him. Number 12, please look after or please pay attention to the blackboard. Please pay attention to the blackboard. Number 13, remind me to your mother or remember me to your mother. Remember me to your mother. Number 14, father bought a new suit yesterday. Father bought a new costume yesterday. Father bought a new suit yesterday. Number 15, let's see if you can guess the right answer. When I grow, I shall be a pilot, or when I grow up, I shall be a pilot. Can you remember in one of our past lessons which word we use when we talk about people? If you said grow up, you're right. When I grow up, I shall be a pilot. 
Number 16. Do you think the correct word is he was standing besides the window or he was standing beside the window? We had these words in one of our past lessons. Can you guess which one is correct? If you said besides, we don't say he was standing besides the window. We say he was standing beside the window. Try number 17. It's with an apostrophe, meaning it is a very excited or exciting film, or it's a very excited, exciting film. Did you say it's? meaning it is a very exciting film, you would be right. It's a very exciting film. Number 18, he does not realize English or he does not understand English. Remember, the word understand means to comprehend something. He does not understand English is the correct word. Number 19, it was raining heavily, so I was glad to get house, or it was raining heavily, so I was glad to get home. Home is the correct answer. Number 20, it is someone at the door, or there is someone at the door. The correct word is there is someone at the door. Exercise B, what a day. Let's write these sentences again, but each sentence must begin with what. Can you remember how to say this is a wonderful garden using the word what at the beginning? What a wonderful garden. Number two. Can you remember how to say he is causing a lot of trouble using the word what at the beginning of the sentence? What a lot of trouble he is causing. Number three, it is a tall building. Can you guess how to say this phrase using the word what at the beginning? What a tall building. Number four, you are a clever girl. What a clever girl. Exercise C. He lent me a book. Or we can say he lent a book to me. He lent me a book or he lent a book to me. She bought me a tie. She bought a tie for me. Now we're going to write each of the following sentence in a different way. Remember, there are some phrases we can say in more than one way. So let's rewrite these sentences in a different way. He handed me the prize. The prize was handed to me. Number two. The waiter brought a bottle of beer to the man. A bottle of beer was brought to the man. Number three, I've ordered some soup for you. Some soup was ordered for you. Number four, bring that book to me, please. Please bring me that book. Number five, she promised a reward to the finder. A reward was promised to the finder. Exercise D. Is there any tea in the pot? There isn't any tea in the pot. There's no tea in the pot. We're going to write negative answers to these questions in two different ways. Have you any money? I haven't any money. I haven't got any money. Number two, did you go anywhere in the holidays? I didn't go anywhere in the holidays. 
I did not go anywhere in the holidays. I went nowhere in the holidays. Number three, was there anybody present when the accident happened? There was no one present when the accident happened. There wasn't anyone present when the accident happened. Section number, excuse me, exercise E. Answer these questions. Put the apostrophe in the right places. Whose umbrella is this? It's George's. Whose is this handbag? That woman's. Whose poetry do you like the best? It's Keats. I like Keats's poetry the best. Whose are the clothes? The children's clothes. Whose are these uniforms? The soldiers' uniforms. Exercise F. Knock, B, give. Complete the sentences by adding any of the following words. Up, off, over, back, on, or away. He usually knocks back at six o'clock, but today's he worked today's, excuse me, but today he's working late. Number two, I am going out now, but I'll be back in half an hour. Number three, I gave up smoking last year, but I, I have just started again. Once you give up smoking, it's best to stop, to stay, stop smoking, or it's best not to start smoking again. Number four, the concert was blank and everybody left the hall. The concert was over and everybody left the hall. A new play is blank at the Phoenix. A new play is up at the Phoenix. I've given up all of my old furniture. Or excuse me, I've given away all my old furniture. Exercise G. Let's change the position of the words in italics. I put on my hat. I put my hat on. I took off my coat. I took my coat off. He put out the fire. He put the fire out. They cut off the king's head. They cut the king's head off. The writer thought he had lost his money. What had really happened? The girl had stolen the money. The girl had stolen the money. She said she found it, but here it says she must have stolen it. The money blank in his room. The money was in his room. He could do nothing. He couldn't do anything. A knock at the door interrupted him. Where did she find the money? Outside the room. Whose room was it? It was the gentleman's room. The writer had lost his money. He felt upset. He must have been worried. The manager was sympathetic. He was sorry for the writer. He lost his money. His money was missing. You can't post this letter without an envelope. The girl returned the money. She was very honest. Let's rewrite this sentence. When he started to complain about this wicked world, he was interrupted by a knock at the door. He started to complain about this wicked world, but was interrupted by a knock at the door. He started to complain about this wicked world, but was interrupted by a knock at the door. This is the end of this video lesson.